teacher from St. Cecilia Maritime High School. Uh, that is in Wendo Sub County, Migori County. Now, today we want to uh, look at mathematics, it's time for mathematics. Therefore, we want to look at uh, the topic uh, that is multiplication and uh, division. And it will involve money. Right now, before we begin, we must have, first of all know where this money comes from because at times we use this money and you must know where you get this money. Uh, at times our parents get money when they buy uh, some of the items, maybe food, maybe clothes, but at, uh, you must know where these parents get money. Now one, uh, they get money through earning. That is if a parent is employed somewhere, they uh, get monthly money that is as a pay, pay, they are paid every month. That is wages. Through that they can get money to use. Two, when one sells items, you know some of our parents are involved in business. And therefore they sell some of the items, they buy, they purchase and then they buy it. Through that they can earn money and that is one uh, legal way of getting money. Remember we have different uh, ways of getting money. And right now I'm covering the legal ways of getting money. Now another one is that uh, when one offers services, such as maybe uh, one may be a barber, maybe shaving, through that, if you are shaved, then you get that money. That is how they can use that money to uh, use it uh, back at home. Uh, some may build houses. Uh, once they get uh, build the houses, they uh, rent it. Other people come and rent that money. Through that, they are paid every month as a rental. That is way of getting money. Uh, while others can get it through gift. One is maybe celebrating the birthday, that is yearly. And through that, they get that money. So that is where we normally get the money that we want to talk about here today. Now, let us look at uh, the calculations. Now, our level, we are dealing with three major operations. That is addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Now, let us look at maybe one example here. We have, uh, we may have zero plus three, that will be three. We are adding someone that does some of the figures here. Maybe you have, uh, you don't have money, but somebody decides to give you three shillings. Now we take that, because you didn't have the money, you are given three shillings. Now you are, you are having a total of three shillings. Now, when you have that three, three, same three shillings, another person added you three shillings. That will be a total of six shillings. We are doing simple addition. Now, you have six shillings. Again, you are given three shillings. Uh, that is a total of now nine shillings. If you have now nine shillings, again, you are given three shillings that will be a total of 12. Now, look at what we've done here. Initially, you didn't have any money, but somebody decides to give you some money, that is three shillings. You are adding them consecutively. You realize now you have a total of 12 shillings. Now, if you ask yourself, you may ask yourself, how many times have you added three shillings? Because initially you didn't have any amount of money. You realize that here we have you, you've added one, two, three, four. So it means that three times four is equals to twelve. Because initially you have added three shillings four times. That brings us simple multiplication facts. That is originally where we get this multiplication. It is addition continuous addition. Now, let us look at maybe subtraction. We review much on the subtraction. Subtraction, we may have maybe 15 shillings. And then you are subtracting 5 shillings. If you have 15 shillings, then you take away 5 shillings that you remain with 10 shillings. 
Remember now you have 10 shillings after subtracting 5. You again subtract the same value, 5. You are going to remain with 5 shillings. Now you have sub, uh, 5 shillings here. Again, you subtract 5. What you are going to remain with here is now 0. Now, remember, uh, that is subtraction. So, initially you are having 15 shillings. You are subtracting 5 shillings consecutively. The first 5 shillings, you remain with the 10. Again, 10 minus 5, we are remaining with the 5. With the five. The same 5 minus 0 is equals to 0. Now 5 minus 5 is equals to 0. Now we are subtracting continuously. That brings out 15 divided by. Because you have subtracted 5 3 times. So we have subtracted 5 3 times. Divide by 5. That will give us 3. So it means that 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. That is the simple uh, division fact. Now let us look at so now uh, the simple uh, multiplication fact. I'm going to pose a question. Now if you think the question I've posted is uh, maybe multiplication, you will sit down. And if you think the question that I've uh, posted involves division, then you stand up. Now, listen for this one here. I buy four apples for 25 shillings each. How much do I spend? I repeat. I buy four apples for 25 shillings each. How much do I spend? Now you must first of all listen to the question that is given, then you think critically. Because for you to get the correct answer, you must know whether you are going to involve multiplication or division. Now that means that when you will be working it out, you will either divide it or you will multiply to get the answer. Now, uh, I said essentially that you, if you think the question involves multiplication, you remain seated. But if the question involves division, then you stand up. Now, the first one. How many of you think that it is multiplication? I can see some are standing, some are uh, sitting down. Good. Now, I will also give you another question. We'll work them out together after I've given you the two questions. Now, the second question here. I go to the cinema with a friend and spend 1,000 shillings on two tickets. How much is one cinema ticket? I will repeat. I go to the cinema with a friend and spend 1,000 shillings on two tickets. How much is, uh, is one cinema ticket? Yes, I can see some are also sitting down, others are standing. But uh, let us now go back to the first question because we'll have to work it out here. Now the first question that I posted, we'll try to work it out. Uh, others are already telling me that it is involved multiplication. Now, the question was, I buy four apples for 25 shillings each. How much do I, spend, uh, do I spend? Now, for you to get the total expenditure, the total, already we have four apples. Then, each apple costs 25 shillings. Now, you want to get the total amount of money that is used to get, uh, to, uh, that is used on buying the four uh, apples. Now we have 25, uh, 25, that is the amount of money per apple, but we are having four. So we multiply by four. 
to get the total expenditure because we are having four apples and here is each apple cost 25 shillings now we are going to multiply this one together this is a two digit number by one digit number that is 25 that is involved two digit number by four which of course is one digit number we want to get the answer to this at times when you are working out you can arrange them vertically that is alignment you align them uh, vertically that is 25 you multiply by 4 that is the kind of alignment that now we have remember 25 we have 5 ones then we have 2 tens now we are going to multiply 4 times 5 ones 4 times 5 ones we get 20 now you are going to write a 0 here we carry two tens. Then we multiply four times two. Four times two is equal equals to eight. Plus the two tens that we carried will give us ten. So we are going to write ten here. So that means that if at all we were having four apples then each apple costs 25 shillings then we are multiplying them together we will come up with 100 shillings that is the total amount of money that one spend when you buy five four uh, apples at 25 shillings each now that involves multiplication let us now move to uh, division the second question and i will uh, read it again i go to the cinema with a friend and spend 1000 shillings on two tickets i go to the cinema with a friend and spend 1000 shillings on two tickets how much is one cinema ticket now initially uh, you suggested that uh, this one involves division because you want to know the uh, uh, the, the, the cost or the one for uh, one cinema ticket. If at all it was 1,000 shillings. 1,000 shillings. Now we want to divide by 2. It was, the total cost is 1,000. But remember the, we, have, we bought two tickets. So we want to divide 1,000 divided by 2. So at times we can use the long division method. That is, you write 1,000, then you divide this one by 2. That is the long division method to begin from class 4 there. So we are going to divide them consecutively. We first of all take the, the first 10 here. You say that now 2 divide 10 how many times? We realize 2 divided 10 5 times. And that 5, you write it on top of that division sign. Then now, 2 times 5 is equal to 10. Times you do the subtraction. We realize now 10 minus 10 is equal to 0. So because we still have some other figures to divide, we'll bring them down. That is zero. Then you say two divide zero how many times? Realize it is zero times. Therefore, you write that zero on top there. Because we have some other figures there that are still remaining, we bring it down again. Each time you bring any new figure down, you must be able to multiply it. So again, two divide the new zero here zero times which of course still zero here so if you subtract zero minus zero you will still remain with zero down here so that means that 1000 shillings divided by two is equals to 500 shillings and that is the division so we are having two questions here that i get out and of course, we have worked them out. That is the same way 
will be dealing with any time we come up with the division or even subtraction. But first of all, you must know which one you use. This one will help you now when you are working them out. I will give out the assignment here. Uh, we have some other questions that of course we will have to work them out. I have already given you the example here and that is the same way you are going to do after you have uh, realized if it is division or even multiplication. Now, the first assignment, and I will write it down, for you you can also write it That is exercise. Number one, and you can copy it very fast. Father gave me sixty shillings. Father gave me six shillings to give six of my brothers. To give six of my brothers. How much did each receive? That is the first assignment, but remember you must first of all know whether it involves division or multiplication. Then you are going to work it out after uh, you realize whether it is a division or multiplication uh, following the example that I've given out here. Now, number two, I was sent to the shop to buy five books. I was sent to the shop to buy five books. If each book cost 20 shillings, if each book cost 20 shillings, I mean, 20 shillings, how much in total did I spend? How much in total did I spend? That is the second question. Third one. My brother bought four oranges. Bought oranges. Bought four oranges at 20 shillings each. At 20 shillings each, how much did she spend altogether? How much did she spend? Did he spend? All together. All together. Now those are uh, three questions, and I'll rather add one. 
I bought five bread. Five bread and gave the shopkeeper Give the shopkeeper 250 shillings. How much was each bread? How much was each bread? Now remember, first of all, before you work it out, you must be able to arrange them. The division sign, write it on one column. Then multiplication, uh, the question involving multiplication here, you write them on the other column, leaving the space for working in, uh, in each question here. If you fail that number one, for example, you'll be having two columns. The first column will be for multiplication. You write multiplication in the first column. Then in the second column, that is how you're working out. You'll work it out. It is working. You write multiplication. In that column, then you have uh, division. Division in the other column. So in the first column, You'll read the question. If you realize it involves multiplication, then you write it under multiplication. Then you give a space, you work it out to get the correct answer there. If you feel that number one involves division, then you write it under division. Then you get the space where you're going to work it out. Then you get the correct answer down there. But you must always think of how you can get that correctly. Now remember that we should always uh, wear the mask at all the time because this is uh, we have this disease that doesn't have the cure at the moment therefore you must always wear the uh, mask anytime you are in a gathering because uh, you have to protect yourself another one is that you must always wash your hands regularly no greeting you don't greet each other in fact you just wave to one another that is to make yourself safe for this dangerous disease that still we don't have the cure be safe stay at home avoid the crowding anytime be it a funeral be it a party can you ensure that uh, you are safe because you should keep the social distancing uh, and therefore be safe at all the time. This disease still does, doesn't have its cure, therefore it is you to protect yourself to avoid any other uh, the infection of this disease. We have a number of us, our relatives, who have died because of this disease. Some already are uh, infected each day. And before you are, uh, get involved in one or you be infected, can you start by uh, maintaining the social distancing washing your hands this, uh, regularly at all the time and therefore you will be safe. Uh, thank you. We'll meet the other time. God bless you.